Good morning. Welcome back to our lecture room. So, today, pag-usapan natin itong isa sa mga katanungan ng ating mga subscribers. No? Very timely po itong question na ito regarding pasalo. No? Ang dami po kasi talagang pasalo ngayon. Paano po kapag bumili ako ng lupa na pasalo attorney or yung sinatawag natin deed of sale with assumption of mortgage, yung meron pang uh, babayaran sa banko or sa pag-ibig, paano po yun? Alright, and ang second question niya is that sabi kasi nila deed of sale with assumption of mortgage and SPA lang, pwede na daw. Hmm, okay, let us try to discuss these things. Okay, so ito siya si Claire. Thank you for that question. No? So ito si Claire, uh, nakabili siya ng house and lot. Yan. Very nice house and lot. And she bought this through in-house financing sa developer or through bank financing still from the same developer or uh, from uh, pag-ibig. Uh, pag-ibig pa. Kasi member siya ng pag-ibig. Now, may binayad siya down payment tapos yung balance po niya is that uh, spread ito siya for about let's say 15 years to 20 years to pay. Okay. Karamihan naman, depende kasi sa edad, is that kung the, the older you are, the shorter ang ibibigay nila ng term. Kung the younger you are, like in this case, kay Claire, pwede 20 years. Now, Claire wants to dispose the property kasi papunta na siya ng Canada. Nurse daw siya. Eh, gusto ko po ibenta na ito. At meron namang magsalo ng obligasyon ko from the bank or from pag-ibig or from the in-house financing. And here is Leo. Willing siya magsalo doon sa uh, loan obligation, apate, tsaka bahay. Pero magiging kanya na. So, ang tanong ngayon ni Leo and Claire here is, Sir, ano po ang gagawin namin? Eh, may loan obligation pa po sa bangko. Let us assume that ang pasalo na amount no, na payag si Claire na ibabayad sa kanya ni Leo is let's say 1 million pesos. And then, ang loan balance nito, sa bank, in-house financing, or sa pag-ibig, let's say, 1.5 million pesos. Take note that if they go to pag-ibig or the bank or sa developer and they say, ako na po ang magpapalit, ako na po ang magsasalot nito, sabihin ni, ni Leo doon sa bank from Claire, to sabihin ng bank, in-house, at saka pag-ibig, Ang ano po ang transaction yung dalawa, inyo lang po yun. Out kami dyan. Basta, ang amin, pag mapuli paid po ito, ibibigay po namin itong uh, title at saka cancellation of documents kay clear Kasi siya man ang original borrower. Siya man ang borrower na kinikilala namin. Pero walang po problema kung ibayaran ninyo in everything. Pagawa lang kayo ng deed of sale with assumption of mortgage plus SPA. Pero inyo lang yan. We will not recognize you, Leo. Ah, okay lang po ba yun? Okay lang yan. Hanap kayo ng lawyer doon para gumawa niyan. Okay lang yun. Now, that is the scenario. Pero, iba yung scenario na kapag ipulipid ni 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 Leo si Claire ng pasalo amount na 1 million plus the 1.5 million. Uh, that's different kasi immediately thereafter, mga ilang weeks lang, lalabas ding title and cancellation of documents. Pwede na silang uh, mag... Uh, ma-transfer kagad yung title niya. So, iba po ang proseso noon. It would be a contract to sell. Then, the moment maglumabas na po yung, yung title for, let's say, after two weeks, then saka sila gawa ng deed of sale ni Claire. Pwede ganon. So, ang full payment is mangyari ganon. That's a different story. Ito, gusto ni, ni Leo, i-continue niya yung 20 years to pay. And approved naman din na, but it's still under nga, under the name of Claire. Hindi pwedeng malagay sa pangalan niya. So, having said that, ang gagawin na document base sa advice is a deed of sale with assumption of mortgage. Tama nga naman. Basta importante lang po, gumawa kayo ng deed of sale with assumption of mortgage kayo ni Leo and Claire, kayo pong buyer and seller, dun po sa legitimate notary public ha. Dahil alam po natin, a legitimate notary public is that kukuha ng valid identification, i-ascertain ang identity ninyo, and then second is that i-ask ng ng a notary public kung naintindihan nyo ba itong pinipirmahan nyo, is it voluntarily or freely done, no? Wala ba kayo na punwersa? Wala ba kayo tinakot? Di ba? So, no force intimidation. So, yan. Ngayon ang attestation namin sa notarial acknowledgement. So, aside from the deed of sale resumption of mortgage, eh, itong ang SPA. Yan. So, merong special power of attorney C. Si Leo. And, take note, yung seller and principal buyer attorney in fact, siya yung buyer at attorney in fact. Si Claire itong seller at 
principal. O, siya yung nagbibigay ng authority ngayon kay buyer. Now, Once matanggap na ni Claire yung money, wala na siya, alis din siya sa Canada. So, naiiwan nito ngayon si Leo na lang. So, meron siyang authority daw. Number one is to uh, make full payment of the mortgage obligation and all fees or pwedeng dahan-dahan. So, si Leo na po yung magbabayad doon monthly, doon sa financial institution. And the recibo is na sa pangalan pa rin ni Claire. Siya man kasi ang magahawak niyang paper na yan. Okay. Hawak niya yung paper na yan, yung resibo na yan, hanggang mapuno niya yan for 20 years. Now, from the moment mapuno niya 20 years, another authority na meron siya is to claim or receive the duplicate owner's original copy of the title. This one. And the cancellation of mortgage documents and receive all necessary documents. Kunyari, title number 14344. So, meron ka siyang karapatan kasi pag makapulipid na siya. Alright. And to... do other things, no? To sign papers, documents, or papers na certain to consume the authority of the turn-in pa. Okay ba yan siya? Well, okay naman yan siya. Ang um, problema lang yan kasi is that pagdating ng 20 years, tapag nakapatapos na rin ng bayad si, si Leo, makomplete na niya yung payment scheme, no? Na monthly payments, uh, dyan na po padarating ang usual problems na napansin ko in my actual practice here in my office, at lumalapit sa akin na mahirap na gawa ng solusyon. Alright, what are those problems? No? So, here is the seller, principal, si Claire, wala na siya. Tapos, si buyer, attorney in pack after 20 years at hawak-hawak niyang SPA. Punta siya ngayon sa bank, financial institution, or sa in-house financing developer, or sa pag-ibig, as the case may be. At ngayon, i-claim na niya. Kasi meron nga siyang uh, fully paid na yung yung kanyang monthly amortizations, kompleto na yung principal plus interest, nabayaran niya, hawak-hawak niya resibo, and then, ikiklaim na niya ang title, yung original owner's copy of title, plus, uh, ikiklaim na niya ngayon yung cancellation of mortgage documents. Kasi, sa likod ng titulo niya, naka-annotate yan dyan, na, ano yan, na prendado yan doon sa financial institution, no? Pag-ibig or banking or financial institution. So, para... Magamit niya yung cancellation yun, ipare-annotate niyo yun para mag-clear din ang title, okay? E sabihin naman ng tatlong institution na ito, sabi niya, well, uh, this uh, SPA mo is 20 years ago na ito, and we needed an updated SPA. Now, insist mo, sabi ko, hindi. SPA na ito, ibig sabihin, patay na itong SPA ko, ibig sabihin, wala na itong visa. Yan na. Magkapapro ng problema si Leo. Tapos sabihin naman ng mga financial institutions, na hindi, uh, yan ang aming, ang ano, uh, ang aming patakaran is an updated SPA from the principal. Kasi for all you know, baka patay na. Ano pala yung ganun? Kung patay na pala, wala na pala itong visa. Yes, yan ang sabihin niya. Okay. So, well, that is true. Um, meron ang modes of extinguishment of agency. Kasi ang relationship po na nangyari kay Claire at Leo, aside from buyer and seller, Leo is the buyer, seller as si Claire, is that uh, meron po silang contract of agency. Parang ginawang attorney in fact nga si Leo ni Claire. Siya ang principal. So, problema is that under the civil code, kapag namatay ka, death, it extinguishes the agency. So, extinguish na rin yung special power attorney nyo. Stop. Terminated. Ganun na. Or, kapag may civil interdiction. So, suppose that the principal or si Claire was uh, sentenced to a criminal offense. which carries the penalty of civil interdiction. Meaning, civil interdiction is that you are prohibited already while serving your sentence to both, to manage your properties, to to sell, lease, mortgage your properties. So, in that case, kapag meron pong civil interdiction, extinguished na po ang agency. Terminated na po. Alright. So, uh, what if kung insanity? So, if the principal becomes insane and therefore... terminated na rin ang agency. At saka, that includes yung mga comatose. Bakit? Kasi po, ang importante yung mental faculty. Kasi, when the principal kasi gives you an authority, parang you are acting in behalf of the principal. Parang you step into the shoes of the principal now as you are doing it for in behalf of the principal. You cannot do something if that person is already insane. You cannot do something if that person is comatose because... Ibig sabihin, terminated na. You could only act kapag okay siya, okay ka din. Pag hindi, hindi na pwede. Okay? So, yun nga pa eh. 
Parang authority mo lang yan siya. Alright, so that is the main problem na nangyayari. And they come to the office and say, ito rin gagawin namin. Actually, a problema actually, uh, ma-prevent yan siya. Because kung mag-cure tayo, malaking sakit sa ulo. So, prevention tayo. And how to prevent that is dapat dun pa lang sa pag-execute ng document. 20 years ago, inayos na po yan siya. Okay, I will tell you how it is done. So, seller principal, buyer interning pack, pag meron po kayo niyan, meron na kayong deal of sale with assumption of mortgage, ang gawin po nyo is that humingi po kayo ng special power of attorney coupled with interest. Yan po yan siya. Bakit po attorney? Okay. Itong special property ni coupled with interest, eh, ganun pa rin ang nakalagay niya. No? Uh, number one, to make uh, full payment of the mortgage obligation, which nagawa mo na. And after 20 years, ready ka na to claim or receive the duplicate owner's original copy of transfer certificate of title number 14344 plus yung mga cancellation of mortgage documents no? and all necessary documents plus to sign papers, etc. Pag specifically, Coupled with interest po is that makita yan ng, ng financial institution, tatanggapin nila yan. Basta as long as nakalagay po itong words na ito. Ito, that this agency shall remain in full force and effect even after the death, act, or condition of the principal since it has been constituted in the interest of the attorney in pact who is Leo by reason of the Deed of sale with assumption of mortgage. Okay. In fact, maganda pa, ilagay nyo doon pa rin that, that the attorney in fact, Leo, is authorized to sell it to himself or to another person he wish. So that in that case, pagdating ng 20 years, hindi mo na gagamitin ang deed of sale with assumption of mortgage na 20 years ago. Kasi, Limpak na limpak ang penalty nyo pag yun ang ginamit nyo, di ba? So, with that SPA now, you could use it to execute a new one, execute a new one, a new deed of sale in your favor or to any person na gusto mo. Tapos, pwede mo pa talagang kunin ang titulo at hindi ka makikwestiyon na ng financial station, ng pag-ibig, etc. Because it is a SPA coupled with interest. Okay, bakit po? Kasi ang SPA coupled with interest actually is an exception to the death or extinguishment of the contract of agency. Kasi once it is constituted na to, the, to the interest of another person, it doesn't die by reason of the death, insanity, or civil interdiction of the principal. Magpapatuloy po yan. Bakit? Kasi may interest po kayo doon. Yun na kasi ang problema. Hindi na ilagay yan. So, dapat po, SPA coupled with interest. Huwag lang yung word na sa heading niya is SPA coupled with interest. Ha? Kailangan nakalagay talaga ito at na-state doon ano yung mga uh, instances na magpapatunoy na dalas siya po talaga ay SPA coupled with interest. Plus, may authority to sell to himself pa siya. Plus, to sell to another person as he may wish. So, yan po ang pinaka-importante. And I hope you learn something from this lecture. Uh, of course, uh, if you like my video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for future updates. So, have a nice day and see you again next time.